A new Tampa Bay Business Journal hits newsstands today, and editor Alexis Milner is here to talk about some of the week's big stories. Good morning, happy Friday to happy you. Happy Friday, Dia. All right, you're talking Publix today and how they've got this strategy now to try to lure millennials. I didn't know that they had a problem with millennials. Well, it's not really a problem. What they're really looking is forward-looking. And we go to Publix, so many of our viewers have been to Publix, you see these aprons, kiosks, and sometimes somebody's cooking something, and then sometimes people wait in line to have those samples. But that's all part of a big strategy to create these meals, these 30-minute meals, to introduce a whole audience to, to kinds of ingredients. And when you're talking about millennials, every business is really looking for how to engage these kind of loyal customers. And it's and they like to be eating healthy and to cook at home. And uh, Ashley Kreitzer's story this week looks at sort of details about how they do that kind of planning. And it's really applicable to so many businesses that are trying to figure out that millennial audience. Oh, pretty exciting though. I think so. It is, really. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the Lightning and their <laughs> incredible run for the Stanley Cup. You know, we didn't get the Stanley Cup, but we did get a lot of eyes focused on our city. And we've learned quite a few lessons as All a result. All kinds of things. And for them, I mean, our focus as a business to look at their business side. What, what does it look like in the future? The playoffs uh, added, I think, 26 more games to the regular season. They were able to sell, I think, 1,900 equivalent full season ticket packages. Their work team had to do with the emotional roller coaster of being in the playoffs. They provide a lot of services, massage chairs and food and that kind of thing, so you get some insight into their workplace. But more importantly, they've, they have a lot of the players for next year at least, and so their long-term future, they're going to do $25 million more worth of renovations that was put on hold because of the playoffs. But for the Lightning, we got a lot of our, our coverage looked at sort of the business side and how well positioned they are. Yeah, and also the fan support was just incredible. Unbelievable, and this, the, you know, a lot of fans knew to you know, sort of re-engaging in hockey, but it was it was a great season. It was, and yeah. one consolation, a Chicago favorite, Portillo's, we've learned, is now coming to Tampa, and people from Chicago who uh, live uh, here in the Bay Area are out. freaking oh my God. out. They are. I, I am not. I mean, I've had some Chicago hot dogs. It's a it's a all beef with a pop seed bun and onions and some celery salt and neon relish. I mean, anybody, and they have Italian beef, and they're coming in 2016. Whether it translates to Florida, I mean, the concept people in Chicago know it well. But um, I'm taking me hungry. You know, it is. And, and I'm intrigued. Early. You know, we've got one of our producers is from Chicago. She was just like, oh, my gosh. Uh, yes. <laughs> and I think many others are, too. So check out our story. And Can't it wait. talks about Portillo's. And it started in 1963 as a small stand. And, and now they're moving to Florida. And they're coming cool. here. So Pretty let's cool. go. All right, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> it's a date. <laughs> Always good to see you, Alexis. Indeed, yeah. And for more Business Journal headlines, look at the money section on our mobile app.